اعوذ بالله من العلي من شر الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين واللعنة الدائمة الأبدية على أعدائهم أجمعين إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد السلام عليكم ماي بلافد ونز ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله we are going to take the verse four today we are going to take verse four from the list which you have the list of the ayat Uh, which was given to you so that you can ponder on these verses and reflect on them before you come because we take a broader uh, a broader picture of the verse uh, trying to interact it with the quran through quran and through some linguistic indications uh, to get a, a better pondering of the verses so um, today's verses let's uh, go to our uh, slide and uh, check out uh, Uh, Waalaikum salam. Okay, so we have today verse fourth verse lesson four, and it is the verse which is uh, about forty one fifty three, forty one fifty three. Basically, as we we said that, let's try to. Uh, and check a bit about uh, 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 i mean uh, 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 the surah 41 verse 53 let's uh, pre- have a glimpse on the uh, surah itself uh, a bit to get a general notion about the surah obviously it is uh, after the surah yasin <coughs> hope you can see Oh, okay let me share the the page okay so uh, the uh, surah 51 is basically uh, 41 basically for, uh, called surah fussilat uh, let me check uh, one thing Forty-one fifty-three. Okay, so <clears throat> Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in Surah Fussilat uh, is mentioning Sanurihim ayatina. We are going to show them our signs. So, so that means there is a guidance from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. there is a guidance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah says we are going to show them so uh, allah does not leave us by ourselves allah does not leave us by ourselves allah shows us the path how does allah show us the path to him by showing us the signs so basically the ma'rifat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is done by the signs by tracking the signs we said there are two types of ma'rifa ma'rifa zahiriya and ma'rifa batiniya ma'rifa zahiriya is uh, apparent ma'rifa and that comes of the intellect uh, looking at the signs theory of causality theory of uh, those logical theories and logical arguments you come to this conclusion that there is one god and that god exists okay that god exists and that god is one So this is ma'rifa zahiri apparent ma'rifa apparent uh, conclusions you come out with the intellect by looking at things around you surrounding you inside you and then there is this ma'rifa batniya ma'rifa batniya also requires intellect because Allah doesn't want you to end up into contradicting beliefs with the logic so our our belief system is is grou- grounded on logical arguments 
So therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us then to also think and ponder and think into the metaphysical things because the whole world is composed of physical and metaphysical. So these, these, these existing things which are physical and metaphysical, all these are signs which takes us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi in the horizons. Okay, that means around us, surrounding us, wherever we are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to sh show us. He said, we are with Jesus. He's, he's not left us alone. He will guide us from in every steps. We need his guidance. He will be there for us. Even if we don't knock his door, he will try to present himself to us. However, after some time, if we keep denying and rejecting and rejecting and rejecting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will leave us. So the more we pay heed, to the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of us and inside of us, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will direct us. So nurihim ayatina fil afaqi in the horizons, outside. Wafi and fusim inside. So we have external things to ponder and internal things, our breath, our feelings, our everything inside us our body is obviously external but if we our soul like what is making us move what is making us breathe what is making what is making the heart beat all these kind of things and inside our feelings what, what is the reality of feeling like anger what is anger what is love what is desire to learn desire to, of knowledge what is this ruh the characteristics of the ruh and characteristics of the of the uh, of the body and the uh, nafs, all these things, body, nafs, and ruh. We, these are things. Uh, it's it, when we ponder in it, we realize, wow, what a complicated structure I am, and who made this complicated structure in a very unique, integrated uh, uh, form, and that is none but Allah. So these are all signs. Allah says we are going to show you. So Allah is going to help us. Whenever we, we try, Allah is going to help us. So nurihim ayatina fil afaq wa fi anfusim. So we have this khalq and amr together. So there is this khalq and there is this amr. Hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq. Until they realize that this is the truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the truth. So, so there is a connection between the truth Ma'rifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his recognition and between all these signs. So Allah try, Allah puts these connections in front of us. Allah wants us to, to, to think, connect between the things around us and inside us with his existence, with him. He is the truth, al-haq. He is, he is the truth, source of every truth. So he tries to connect us with this. Awalam yakfi bi rabbika. And it is not sufficient for you uh, to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is uh, witnessing everything. He, tes he, 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 testify, he would testify everything. So Allah is witness on everything. How? Because he's everywhere in everything and out of everything. Nothing is hidden from him subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it says, Awalam yakfi bi rabbik, isn't it sufficient? Uh, isn't it sufficient that he is the Lord who's witness on everything? That means he's everywhere. You are not witness of everything, but he is. So therefore, he is over and all, everywhere, in everything and out of everything. And all these signs are manifestations of his existence, indicate his existence. As if, the, if, it, if it was not for him, all these things would not have existed. That's why Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam says that, Ya Allah, how can I, I, I go through these things to you? Because you are more obvious than these things. You are the one allowing me to understand these things. Not these things would uh, let me understand you. Obviously, Imam Hussein is trying to tell us that another ma'rifat, ma'rifat of batiniya, ma spiritual ma'rifat. Because once you've, your soul is free, your ruh is free. You realize that he is the one. Everything is going to be diminished except for him. Everything is going to be wiped out except for him. So he is going to stay. He is everlasting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything other than him is going to go away.
So in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made a clear connection between outs, out, the world outside us, the world inside us, and the connection to him, that they're all connected. Don't separate me from my creation. <laughs> Why? Because I am in every single molecule, micromolecule parts of the uh, of the creation, my creation. I am the, the, the I'm, I'm manifested in my creation. If you see my creation, you will see me. You want to see me? Ponder in my creation. You'll find me. You don't. You don't want to. You don't need to see me with your eyes. It's enough. Look at the beauty of the creation. Look at the uniqueness of yourself of the creation of the mountains of the plants of the of, of the whole thing is integrated together the whole system of allah is integrated interconnected together so this is the ayat of surah fussilat uh, uh, like 41 uh, 53 which was on the uh, list of the ayat um for, uh, number four and then we have, uh, yes, uh, let's go back to our slide and see. Um, huh, uh, let's go back and check uh, the connection. Remember, uh, Imam Sadiq says that the, the, the verses of Quran, like those connected beads in, the, in a necklace. So they're all connected. So let's see be, before it. What is the before it? Allah is arguing the kuffar. Okay, the Prophet Sallallahu Allah is telling the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, tell them, O Muhammad, أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ كَفَرْتُمْ بِهِ مَنْ أَضَلُّ مِمَّنْ هُوَ فِي شِقَاقٍ بَعِيدٍ That means, uh, if you know that this is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, this message, this Quran, you see, all these things are from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, and then yet you deny, then who is more deviate, deviated than you? After knowing that this is the truth, after knowing. So now Allah is talking about something from him, a message from him, a messenger from him. And then you deny, and then you reject who is more worse than you, you who, who deny this message. And that's why Allah says that we are going to show them all our signs. But yet after they see our signs, they see all these clear things which connect Allah to the whole creation. After that, yet they denied they're the worst people. They deny his existence. Then Allah can, uh, continues. Allah fi miryatin min rabbim. Still they doubt that they are, uh, they are going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means uh, they are going to die. Still they doubt in that. How can they do that? How can, after seeing all these signs, after seeing in our previous verses, we said the recycling process, that everything goes and comes back and resurrects. How can they do like that? How can, still now they are like in doubt after all these signs. We are going to show them. It's not like uh, I've made a puzzle, hidden thing, you know, like those, what they say, treasure games or treasure hunt. I don't know, uh, what's it called? So you hide hide things and let the youth look for those hidden things and you sometimes you have to struggle especially you have hidden something uh, um, in the bathroom inside the siphon uh, uh, or very uh, difficult complicated place uh, uh, so, so it, it becomes complicated for the the youth to find those uh, the the treasure becomes uh, um, hard to find to find so allah says i have made easy everything everything is in front of you Look at your eyes, look at your nose, look at, what if your nose was here on your forehead? Like if you had sneeze, all that filthy stuff will come on your eyes. But here when you sneeze, you can always close your mouth, you see, and the sneeze will go. And even, even, even the projection is like, it's like not down, the nose will project there. Like, like <laughs> the, the sneeze goes like that, doesn't come down, you see. So all these things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made in a very perfect feature uh, to protect our eyes, to protect our mouth, to protect our nose, protect our lungs, to protect everything. These are all signs inside us, physical and metaphysical things which we have and the nature itself which has physical and metaphysical. So metaphysical may be hidden uh, in the nature like jinns and angels, but the whole creation 
you can see it and you can sense the 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 artistic um, uh, structure in made in a in an excellent design uh, or so that shows that there is an excellent designer so this is where the surah surah uh, fussilat ends so remember let's see the connection between the end and the beginning so this is sanurihim ayat we'll show the signs and then uh, still they doubt it ends with it and then we had this arguments of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, about the human being, how the human being is weak, how the human being doesn't use his intellect, how the human being doesn't think, uh, how the all this kind of uh, insan. Let's now come to the beginning and let's see what kind of connection is there from the big in the beginning and at the end. Hamim Tanzil or Minar Rahmanil Rahmanil Rahim. So the, talks about the book of Allah, some a message. Remember. At the end, it was about the message, okay? And the message, Allah has descended. The most merciful, the most compassionate. So at the end, he will help us out in every single moment of our life, if we want it. You see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also using this uh, civil rights. If you want, we will teach you. If you don't want, we'll not teach you kind of thing. You see, I will not impose, but we will be there for you. We will show you. But if you deny, then that's up to you and you will suffer. But if you don't deny, then uh, if you accept it, then we are going to show you more and sanuri him. We are going, we are going to show. So showing Allah showing is none but out of his mercy. Out of his mercy. He, he is keeping track of us. Subhanallah, if you will, uh, you will ponder in dua of Arafah of Imam Hussein, salamullahi alayka Abu Abdullah al Hussein. How beautifully Imam Hussein presents Sanurihim Ayatina, okay? How beautifully Imam Hussein presents. He says, Ya Allah, from the time I was a I was a sperm and I was a fetus and I was this and I was in the bed in the in the posture of my ancestors in the uh, in the wombs of my uh, mothers and and after that I came out and uh, you have been protecting me, you have been protecting me, you have been giving me this, you have been giving me that, you have been ponder in it. So this is the this is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which he has been in every step of my life. He has been there for me. But it is the me who is blind from seeing his care. And let me give you an example. Our parents, our parents, they take care of us since the childhood. But it is we who deny and we and then uh, God forbid, if they die, we oh my goodness, and we cry, and why did why was I there? Why just just look at the, look look at. But if you are a parent, you will understand your parent. But as long as you don't become a father or a mother, you will never understand the sacrifices your father and your mother gave. So it is very important for us to understand that they have been taking care of us in every single moment of our lives. And this is the manifestation of the mercy of Allah. Who made this mother, this passionate mother? Who made this father, the caring father? It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave this power of emotion to the mother who could take care of me. So who's taking care of me? Allah's taking care of me. Through who? Through my mother. Who's taking care of me? My uh, Allah's taking care of me. Through who? Through giving livelihood to my father and giving me that uh, passes over to me. So yes, my mother and my father, they have great favors upon me. But it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who made them favorable to me. That is why when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, be kind to your parents, be kind, lovable, care. However, if whenever comes a conflicting of the authority comes, I tell you it is haram to drink alcohol. Your dad tells you drink alcohol. I tell you it's haram to remove hijab. Your mom tells you to remove hijab. Then that comes the conflict of the authority. Then I am the supreme authority. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because I was taking care of you guys through your mother and through your father. So mother and father are to be respected in Islam. Utmost respect. But when it comes to obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, uh, uh. me, I'm the authority here. Remember that care which you got from your mother, it was my care 
I gave it through your mother. So, so Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. That means the this ayat will have a lot of components of mercy of Allah. So the best mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is His guidance through His book Quran, Kitabun Fussilat, Ayatuhu, Quran and Arabian, and then Bashiran, glad tidings giving, glad tidings and warning, and then. Uh, talks about the disbelievers and how the prophet discusses with them. Tell them, O oh, prophet, call and call and call and all these signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they are all interlinked, interconnected until it comes to this ayat, which we are, uh, it is like a conclusive ayat in general. We are going to show them our signs. You see, they are going to deny they're going to deny the Quran. They're going to deny our signs. They're going to deny our welcoming uh, messages. They are going to reject. And that is why it is, uh, uh, um, uh, and still after seeing those signs, they are going to be in doubt. So therefore, this is the concept uh, which we can get from Surat Fussilat. That Surat Fussilat also focuses on the Ma'rifat. The whole Quran focuses on the Ma'rifat. So Surat Fussilat also focuses on the Ma'rifat and focuses in the beginning Quran as the most uh, uh, accurate, authentic, uh, uh, spiritual uh, sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this Quran guides us to see what, how can we connect to Allah from inside and from outside. Let's come back to our slide and uh, uh, see the connection also. So uh, uh, also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the signs to uh, uh, Musa. So one of the signs, Nurihim ayatina. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives example. This is in, uh, uh, 32-27, 32-27, uh, I, uh, I think we did this ayat, but I just want to uh, connect this ayat with uh, ayat today because, you know, interlinking and getting a holistic uh, uh, a picture is uh, very important. So we discussed this ayat, but we did, were not able to connect it uh, and, and uh, find out the Amr part of it. So let me go back to, uh, uh, let me go back to sharing you the slides where are, where is, yes. So in this surah, which we did uh, last time, we were not able to connect it. So it is sajda, prostration. Where is the slide? Yes. So in surah is sajda, look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala presents his sign. Remember, the, the issue is connection. The ayat, external ayat and internal ayat. Okay. So, of course, they have kept in the list the ayat in sequence. However, we, uh, we have to connect it in a way that that ayat, sanurihim ayat in afil afaq, is more inclusive and more general. And then these are all examples of these, uh, that ayat. So here this ayat, uh, um, Amr, remember khalq and Amr, creation and the uh, power of kun fayakun? Walaqad atayna Musa al-kitab. We gave Musa the book. Okay, so book is from Amr, Kun Fayakun. It is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was given to Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Fala takun fi miryatin. Remember, in the last of Surah al Fussilat, are they still doubting? So, so that means who's, who's doubting? Not Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is, remember, we said that, that address, whenever the negative address comes, it is not the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the people, okay? It is the people who are, who are the, the aim, who, 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 who have these kind of uh, characteristics of doubting, always doubting in the message. How many people they were surround, uh, pro, the Prophet Sallallahu had in his surrounding? Many of them, they were doubting in the message of Rasulullah. Uh, the mics, please. Okay. Okay, so uh, Amr, now, now we said, you follow with me. Where is Amr? Where is Khalq? Okay, where is the Khalq component? Where is the Amr? Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us through Khalq and through Amr. Quran is from the Amr. 
Torah, which was descended from the Amr, but then people, they messed up with it and uh, distorted it. So it's a book of guidance. Okay, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us from the signs, from the external signs, from the internal signs, from the Quran. And also, who are the guides? This is very important. Now, Allah is connecting the ma'rifat of Allah to ma'rifat of Imam. Okay, وَجَعَلْنَا minhum. We made them. So who makes the imams? Allah. Imams of Allah. We make our imams. Okay. We uh, choose our imam jama'ah. We choose our imam marja. Marja is also imam. Many people, they say, why are you calling imam Sistani, imam Khomeini, imam? Well, marja is imam. He's the leader. Imam in general means leader. With the lowercase i. The, the one which we which we are known as with the high, low, high uppercase I, Imam, as they call Imam, okay? So Imam and Ipap. So uh, like they were saying, Iran and Iraq and uh, I fell down. Uh, so Iran, Iraq, and I fell down. So, um, so this is like Imam, not Imam. Imam is with a capital I. The Imam made by Allah, appointed by Allah, supported by Allah, given the, the, the authority by Allah is with a capital I. Is with a capital I. Okay? All the other Imams of the people, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, yeah, he was the leader of Ahl Sunnah, uh, the, 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 the marja of Ahl Sunnah who followed his fatwa. Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam al khui Imam al Khomeini, Imam al Sistani. All these Imams are leaders, okay, or in, in certain area, authority. They are our authorities. The Sunni's authority in fiqh was Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Imam Abu Hanifa. So these are words, Imams are the lowercase i. So don't get, uh, sometimes when uh, somebody says Imam al Sistani, Imam al khui Imam al Khomeini, people, they get terrible. Oh, what are you saying? Imam. No, 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 Imam is Imam. Just understand the terminology. We are not say, saying Imam al khu is the Imam appointed by God. Or he has, because of his knowledge and authority, he was Imam. Okay? So there's no specification like, like Imam Jama, like they call me Imam Jama. Some people, no, 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 we can't, we can Maulana Safdar Razi, not Imam Safdar Razi. But in American system, you have to consider this in an immigration paperwork imam and you could put the visa, okay, process. So therefore, the word imam is with a lowercase i, any leader. Uh, Quran says, a'imma to kufr. The disbelievers, they have imam. Shaitan is the biggest imam of the disbelievers, of the evil ones, of the Yazidi people, of those who murdered Imam Hussein, alayhi salatu Yazid was their imam, okay? But that is a'imma to kufr, a'imma to dalala. Quran says imams of deviation, imams of. So imam is a, has a broader indication. So please do not terrify it if we say Yazid was imam. Yes, he was imam of kufr, imam of his deviated people who took them to hellfire. Okay. So imam, lowercase imam is any leader. Uh, could be good leader, could be bad, could be righteous, could be evil. But when we say Imam with a capital I, Imam, that is our chosen by God. This is what the ayat says. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses. Yes, you chose your Khalifa as a people, but Allah also chose his Khalifa. Okay, you chose uh, and you claim that that is Khalifa of Allah. We can agree to disagree. We can respect our uh, fellow Muslims. But this is the Quranic definition of Imam and Khalifa is different. It is Allah who makes his khalifa. You can make your khalifa, okay? You can make your political leader. But the question is, are you going to choose the political leader which is chosen by Allah or which is chosen by yourself, okay? So that is the difference. So in both cases, even uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam, we say he was chosen by God, a khalifa chosen by God like Dawood alayhi salam in the Quran. He was an imam chosen by God, like the imams of Bani Israel chosen by God. However, people, they did not pay heed to uh, Imam Ali Islam. They left them. So this is called Imam Tashri'iyya. That means Allah legislates an imam for you. You have to uh, follow. You have to obey him. You have to do your responsibility. 
So Allah did his taqwini part. He chose the imam. He made him imam and khalifa over all the universe after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. However, in the in our realm of politics, you have to choose him. You did not choose him. Like Allah makes salat. This is called ja'al tashri'i. Ja'al tashri'i. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made salat. But he wants us to uh, perform salat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made zakat. Allah wants us to fulfill zakat. He made khums obligated. He made this obligated. He made that obligated. But he did not impose on us. La ikraha fi deen. There's no compulsion in religion. He left us to perform those uh, those duties and responsibilities. And one of the most important duties and responsibilities is to accept the imam chosen by him, accept the khalifa chosen by him, the way we accepted the salat chosen by him, the way Allah presented the salat, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa presented the salat, the fasting, the zakat, all these things Allah legislated the, and it was presented in a certain pattern and we have to follow that pattern and not make our own salat, own fasting, own khums, and own zakat, and own hajj. No, it is the way Allah wants. The same, similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose an imam for us, chose a khalifa for us, so, and wants us to obey him. For, because obeying the khalifa is obeying the, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Obeying Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So obeying, 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 like we said, ati'u Allah, obey Allah, wa ati'u Rasulullah, obey the messenger, wa ulil amri minkum. Those who have the authority of amr, we are going to talk about this amr, kun fayakun. Those who have the power of kun fayakun. Because many people, they have the affairs of the Muslims. But we can't obey them because they, they sometimes they, they told the Muslims to do wrong things. Like Yazid was called waliul amr, authority of amr. And he, he did the most horrifying crimes in the universe, quality-wise, okay? By killing, the murdering the great, uh, the grandson of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the greatest human on the face of the earth on that time, according to the Sunnis and Shias. There was no one on earth more honorable person on earth by Allah than Imam Hussein Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. So this Imam of evil, he directed the people to do haram things, to murder Imam Hussein alayhi salam, to torture his family. Salamullah alayhim. So that is that is the, the direction given to them. He, he cannot be Wali al Amr. That is what they use. Allah says, Allah, obey Allah, Ati'ul Rasulah, obey the messenger. Wa ulil amri minkum. And the ones who have the affairs of you amongst you. Hello. That means, should I obey Yazid in killing Imam Hussein? What kind of uh, absurdity is that? That means Allah is telling me haram to murder an innocent human, let alone being the, the, the most precious one of the Prophet And Yazid is commanding me, I obey Allah or obey Yazid. So this kind of ideology is absurd to say that anyone who becomes your leader of a Muslim, he is your waliul amr, you have to obey. That is totally foolishness according to the Quranic concept. To obey someone who is a sinner, who tells the people to commit sins, who imposes on the peoples to commit sins and contradict the Quran and the, the, the message of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it's impossible. Waliul Amr is not the one who has the affairs of the Muslim. No. Waliul Amr is the one who has the power of Amr of Allah. How do you how can you prove that? This is the ayat in front of us. Let's ponder on it in, in, in this ayat. Waja'al naam. So you understood the word ja'al? Remember, I'm going to present another ayat which has the word ja'al in it. We made waja'alna. We made. So it is the make of Allah. It's a choice of Allah, the option of Allah. There are three things you need to understand in this ayat. Three things. Okay? Because Allah wants to guide us in every steps of our life. So one of the sources of guidance is these imams. They are the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they are the chosen ones of Allah. Okay. Imatan, plural of imam. Imam is one, plural. So this is a capital I or a lowercase i? Yes. 
a capital I because it's a chosen Imam of Allah. So some of the prophets of Bani Israel, uh, they were chosen by Allah as Imams as well. Like Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, after he passed his test, he was Imam. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was messenger, he was Nabi, he was messenger, he was Imam. However, after his death, the messenger and Nubuat stopped, but his Imam continued in Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib والسلام, the manifestation of Imam. So the Prophet was complete Nabi, messenger, Imam. Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, was messenger, and after he passed his test, he was Imam. So these Imams, they require test. What is their test? The patience, sabr. The more they, the, that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not just his play game. He says, he looks into the creation, any, any, any more presto, Imam, 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 Imam. Uh, he doesn't choose like that randomly. That's absurd on all wise, all hakim, wisdom to do like that. So basically what we are saying is that imamat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is chosen. Criteria of that, the most people, the most tolerable people, the people who have the highest level of tolerance, sabr, he chooses them because imamat is a headache. Okay, uh, tell me, <laughs> Imam Jama'ah with lowercase i and our Maraja with the lowercase i, how much struggle they have to face. The more higher you go, the more struggle you have to face taking this responsibility of imamat. The, our imams, السلام, the imams of Bani Israel, السلام, they were chosen by God. They were chosen. Why? Because they had the capacity of tolerance, highest level of capacity of tolerance and sabr in, in, their, in their time. Imam Hussein, alayhi salatu Ya man ta'ajjaba min sabrihi, malaikatu sama. These are like these are the poets. They are uh, expressing the 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 sabr of Imam Hussein. Oh, Imam Hussein! Oh, how the, even the angels of the heavens they were surprised. They were baffled by your sabr. This much sabr you have. That's the reason Allah chooses. Not alcohol abusers are imams. Not deviated people are imams and Khalifa's chosen by God. Yes, chosen by you, okay. The human being, they elect presidents and they regret. They elect imams, like President, <laughs> President Trump is imam of those people who chose them. So he's an imam with a lower case, but he's an imam like Yazid type of imam. So, and they regret. They regret people, they regret choosing, choosing imams which, which are not right. But when Allah chooses, he chooses the perfect human being for us because he manifests the characteristics and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not equal to Allah, no, but gained from Allah, pure attributes. How does he get it? Through sabr. What else does he get? Okay, because of his sabr. Uh, they, they were believers in our signs. They were believers. So two things. They were never, they never had hard hearts. No, reject, reject, reject. No, they would accept anything which would make them close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one. Number two, they, after that, after that yaqeen they have, they would not care if the whole world falls apart on them, falls par, uh, collapses on them like Imam Hussein in Karbala. You see, that is the one of the amazing manifestations of this ayat. Aimmatan, we made them imam. What were the responsibility? Yahduna, guiding the people. What were the tools given to them? Bi amrina, we gave them our amr. Okay, our amr. Lamma sabaru, due to their patience. Wakanu bi ayatina yukinun. And because they were believers in our signs. These two things were made them qualified as imam chosen by God. Okay, and they were guiding people. Allah gave them responsibility of imamat, guide. And through what? What are the amrina? Remember, I, re, I don't want to repeat this because many people, they say you repeat a lot of things, but the problem is we have to interlink, interconnect, holistic view. Again, Surah Yasin. No, we already know that Surah Yasin and Ayat, I know you'll say, Okay, Alhamdulillah. So you said it. 
you said it, I said, you said it with your intention, I said it with my words, okay? So you said it. So what is Amr? Surah Yasin at the end says, Allah's Amr is nothing but, nothing but the Taqwini Wilayat, the Wilayat of nature. Unfortunately, nowadays we have some Shia, Mullah Shia, I don't know, they studied Hausa and this and that. They deny the most obvious things which is found in the Quran, okay? That they deny that imams cannot perform miracles. How the hell you can even conclude? The authority which Rasulullah had, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was the authority of all the prophets they had. He inherited all the authorities. Authority of Isa, alayhi salam, to bring people back to life. Authority of Musa, alayhi salam, to perform miracles. Authority of Saleh, authority of Hud, authority of all the authorities from Adam. They were all combined in the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi sallam. And that is the wilayat. On the day of Ghadir, what did Rasulullah say? Oh, my beloved ignorance, please pay attention, you deniers of the authority of the nature of. Rasulullah had the authority of to perform miracles. Yes, by the permission of Allah. That same thing, Imam Ali has. How can you say that? Man kuntu mawlah, aliyun mawla. Whomsoever I am the authority of, Ali is also his authority. Rasulullah did not exclude. Whomsoever I am the political leader of, Ali is the political leader also. Whomsoever I am the religious leader of, legislative authority of, Ali is the legislator. No, he said Mawla, absolute Mawla. The, 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 uh, the Ahl Sunnah says Mawla al kaunain The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is master of the universes. This universe and the universe hereafter. Kaunain, not this kaun, this kaun and the kaun hereafter. This is how it's understood. So Ahl Sunnah, Shia, all of them, they said Rasulullah had the authority. Malakutu samawati wal ard. Allah gave him the kingdom of the universe. So Allah, Allah's kingdom is in the hand of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Prophet Muhammad gave this kingdom to Imam Ali on the day of Ghadir in public when he said it. Man kuntu maulah, whomsoever I am the authority all the type of authorities, exclu inclusive authorities on the nature, on whatever the kingdom I inherited from all the messengers combined it. And in addition to my kingdom, which is given to me by Allah Malakut, I am giving it in the hand of Ali ibn Abi Talib They're asking, what is your evidence that is inclusive? Well, you are the one you need to pre present evidence that this is excluded. It's opposite. The, the logical argument is whenever you say a word, it is inclusive. Unless if there's a clue to exclude. What is your clue to exclude the authority from Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib other than the authority of Rasulullah? So beside the, uh, beside the Nubuwat and the Risalat, Imam Ali is all the authorities of Imamat, which Rasulullah had it. There's no Nabi after him, but he's not less than Anbiya based on Hadith al-Manzila, which is even narrated in Sahih Muslim and uh, books of Ahl al-Sunnah, Anta minni bi manzilati Harun bin Musa, which you all know that you are to me from the Harun, but there's no prophet after me, O Ali. But you are not less. So you have the authority. The Har Harun had the authority. You have it. You have more than that. You, have, you are the warith of Anbiya because I am warith of Anbiya. I am the inheritor of all the prophets and you are the inheritor after me to whatever I have. It is basic, it doesn't need rocket science to understand the authority of Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wasalam. So, so again, uh, let me see, our time is very short now. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ أَئِمَّةً يَهْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا We made them, imamat is make of Allah, khilafat is make of Allah. Yes, people can make, but those are not successful imamat and successful khilafat. But the im imamat, and because Allah chooses the most perfect, why Allah chooses them? Because of their patience and their belief. And why? what, does, uh, what is their duty? Yahduna, they guide. And what is the tool given to them? The amrina, through our signs, through our, our, our power. Amrina, innama amru, power of confirmation. Which Prophet Isa alayhi salam had, Asif bin Barkhia, the one who brought the throne of Bilqis from Yemen to Palestine, had it. Okay, so now that was a heavy duty stuff. The rest is all uh, easy. We have spoken about it. And then another uh, next ayat was, inna rabbaka huwa yafsilu baynahum yawm al -qiyama. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to decise, uh, do a decisive everything. He's going to separate the good ones, the bad ones. He's going to give a judgment. 
fasl means fasl hukuma means giving a judgment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show them whose truth will spark. They have been belying the Prophet, they have been rejecting the Prophet, they have been very stubborn. So on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell them about their disagreements and uh, differences. Allah will uh, show them this is what you were supposed to and this is what you are supposed to reject. Don't they realize previous nations were also destroyed before them? They were also um, in their dwelling in their houses, and uh, but they were not paying heed to the signs. Ayatina, remember the ayatina and our ayat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us, guides us, Qurans, prophets, messengers, imams, the <coughs> physical system, metaphysical system. How much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pampers us. But yet, these people, they used to deny. And that's why they were. Uh, and then, uh, after mentioning the Amr, we mentioned this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the physical. Now, look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts the analogy. He mentioned the Quran, the Torah, the book of guidance, Hidayah. He mentioned the Imams. And now he mentions something, Yasuq. We said Sa'iq is driver in our previous lessons, okay? Driving. Market is a place which drives people towards it. So, Suq, Nasuq. Go, those who did not uh, get this lecture, go to our previous lecture. You'll find this. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, brings the water. Subhanallah. Quran is the water which Allah brings us to us. Intellect is our water. Uh, imams are, are the waters of Allah. They come, Allah says, Allah gives a physical resemblance, subhanAllah. As Allah is trying to say, Imamat is like this water which we came, bring it to you guys. The bare lands are, they, they become green. Okay, the desert lands become the green because of this water. People, they benefit, the you benefit, and your cattle benefit. So this is tw ayah 27, and that is why it is very important to connect these ayat together. The imamat, we can say it is like this water which is coming from the heavens, book coming from the heaven, imam appointed by the heaven, the message, messenger prophet appointed by the heaven, coming where? To the vulumat, to the darkness of the ignorance of the jahiliyat, which we go through, and it lightens us with this. And then those good ones, they, they become mu'mineen and they grow and they teach others, others benefit. So, so the, the lowest level of people in their comprehension, like the animals, they understand. That is so basic Islam is. And the most highest level philosophers, they would understand it. They would ponder more and more. So ta'kulu minhum. Like I'm trying to make a resemblance. Wallahu alam. But these ayat, they are connected together. First Allah talks about the Amr. And then it gives us the example of how the Quran and the, the Imams are like this water which goes and serves these barren lands. Same thing. Suq, siyaq, driving. Allah drives the water. Driver, sa'iq. Okay. Wasiq al kafaru. That the people in the, in the day of judgment, they will be driven to the hell, driven to the paradise, driven, siyaq from Sa'iq, they were taken. So Sa'iq, Suq, all this kind of thing, the stem, we mentioned this, and uh, I have also sent you the slides uh, with this regard. And then we have uh, some of the ayat which talks about the, the, the driven driving. So to connect this ayat, this will be your homework. This will be your homework, inshallah. I'm not going to because our time is done. I'm not going to go more into this. Uh, so this all, yusaquna, they are dri driven towards the death. Nasuqul mujrimina ila jahannam. We'll dri drive the jahannam to the, uh, like we'll lead them, take them to jahannam. Awalam yaro, this is our ayat. The winds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings them. So the, the clouds, they, 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 they bring water. They, uh, so this water comes from and we drive this water to the dead land, which is same like desert land. And then wasiqa alladhina kafaru. Saqayha, the feet of uh, Zulaikha, stem, because stem <coughs> bring, brings the blood back to us, <coughs> to our heart, because the blood goes down and then the blood comes back. So stem, it drives the blood from lower parts of the body to the upper parts of the body. It's the canal. The tree trunk, it is also saq. 
<clears throat> all these sakhs are, uh, and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not show his, uh, show his path where you have to go. يَوْمَ يُكْشَفُ عَنْ سَاقٍ سَاقٍ is not uh, uh, the, the, the leg of Allah like the, some of the uh, interpretations of the Wahhabis. No, this is uh, absurd. Allah does not have feet or leg. And uh, even if you say it suits him, what suits him? If you say he has a physical feet which suits him or metaphysical feet, with, you have embodied God and that is shirk in the... But we will not say you are mushrik. Okay, we will not say you are kafir. That is your ideology. But Shia... If a Shia says Allah is feet, we will say, oh Shia, you are a mushrik. Don't do, because your ideology rejects embodiment of God. You cannot uh, make uh, give body to God. Quran, uh, all uh, that's logically absurd. We cannot accept our imams, Imam Ali, alayhi salatu wasalam, till all the imams, they rejected it. So that's why the saq is not the, uh, the, 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 the feet of Allah or, or the leg of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Na'udhu billah. This is the path the guide which will take you, and then you will be asked to prostrate, you will never be able to prostrate, okay? So this is the saq, means that the, 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 the direction driven, the one who's going to yukshafu an saq, somebody who's going to take you to the paradise and ask you first to prostrate, you will not be able to prostrate as one of the interpretation, okay? Wallahu alim, but you will not be able to. So you will be dumped into the hellfire. Because you did not listen to the saq, saq, driver, the one who drives. You see the saq, the stem, the one who takes things to a place. The water uh, stem takes the water to the tree, uh, trees, branches. The, the, our leg is uh, saq, takes the blood to all the uh, upper parts of the body. And the, uh, that comes down and there's a kind of canal uh, which drives the blood up and down. So there is somebody who is going to take people into the paradise, they will be asked to obey them. They will not be able to because in dunya they were not disobedient. And then does the stem, uh, I mean the leg of a person when a person is dying, you see, they, they, they twist their legs with the, because of the pain in normal cases. Uh, and they said this is the leg of Allah. Some of those extreme <laughs> mindset, they say Allah, when, when the legs will, oh, this is God, let's go to do sujood. But those disbelievers, they will not be able to do sujood in front of the legs of Allah. Na'udhu billah. And that is something which is uh, absurd, Islamically, logically. But we respect our fellows who ever believe in this. Uh, and uh, may Allah guide them uh, to the tri true path, making God embodied. Waqalu, aswaq, this is market. This is market, aswaq. Aswaq is plural of suq. Uh, this is done. Yes, finally, I just want to point out uh, this ja'al. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayat, he said, وَجَعَلْنَاهُمْ أَئِمَّةً يَهْدُونَ وَجَعَلْنَا We made, remember I said focus on this. We made them imams. So there's a made of imam, made of God and made of people. So when people make imam, when people made imam Yazid to kill imam Hussein, Allah led them. Because on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will. So Allah made, accepted them, did not interfere. So when Allah says, they will take them to hellfire, it is not Allah chose them. They chose. Remember, this is also. Imam Hussein chose sabr. Imam Hussein chose, uh, the, was the best believer in the signs of Allah. Then Allah made him our imams and our guide because Allah knew in the primordial system before this earth that in, uh, there will be there will be like 124,000 personalities. Sorry about that internet problems. <laughs> uh, Alhamdulillah, we are, all, we are done uh, almost. Uh, uh, let me just bring back the slide, okay? So uh, we, you know that, uh, uh, so people choose, Allah makes, that is Amrun Baina Amrain. As I said, Allah did not zap on Imam Hussein, Al-Kazam, Al-Kazam, boom, you are the Imam now just for nothing, no qualifications. That's absurdity. Even we human, when intellectual human, they hire someone for responsibility, they check the qualifications. Ya Allah, you gave, gave us intellect. How can you choose any, mini, mini, boom, collapse, so kaboom, zoo, and, and then the Imam, Hussein is Imam because God chose him Imam. Yes, why? Because he was qualified to be Imam. His qualification, Allah mentioned the qualifications of the imams he chooses. 
So if you choose evil and start evil, doing evil, 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 then Allah will not interfere. That is Allah will make you, make you imam in your realm. Like shaitan chose to be evil. So Allah made him imam of the evil ones. Okay, then you are the one who are going to deviate other people and bring them to hellfire. But my imams are going to uh, protect people from being dumped into hellfire if they listen to my imams, my chosen imam. So shaitan, okay, you have chosen evil. Shaitan said, God, make me, make, give me control over these people. Said, okay, God, God gave, you have chosen that wrong path. I have given you that path. So it is Amrun Bain Amrin. So even if you see Yazid, Allah did not interfere. Why? Because Yazid chose to be in the hellfire and he chose to take uh, thousands of people with him to the hellfire. So Allah said, okay, I have made you Imam of hellfire. Take them to hellfire. You chose that. I did not choose. You chose that and I gave you what you wanted. That is in Nama Numlila, we leave them, we leave them, we leave them. They, so they, 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 they can be the most wicked people. When we guide them, they don't pay. Imam Hussein guided Yazid. Salamu alayhi. Yazid did not listen. Imam Hussein guided his soldiers, his army. Nobody listened. They chose the evil path. They got the evil path. Allah said, okay, I've made you the, the ones who are going to take people to the Jahannam. But I have on the other side, my best beloved ones of the universe, they are going to try to help those people. If they listen to them, they are going to go with them in paradise. So this Jal, Jal now minum aimatan. So the, the, this, I, this, this slide which I'm showing you now, these are the ayat, 12 ayat. How many? 12, which talks about different types of imams. Number one, Prophet Ibrahim Inni jailuka. Remember that word Jal, make. I am making you, I am appointing you, I am choosing you. Linasi imaman. I'm choosing you, uh, uh, imam for the people. Prophet Ibrahim says, my descendants. No, not all of them. The good ones they will get. So criteria. There's a criteria of choice of imamat. That those who will be doing observing patience, like of Bani Israel. Bani Israel are children of uh, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasam is children of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasam. Descendant. Imams, our Imams of Ahlul Bayt, 12 Imams are descendants of Prophet Ibrahim. So Prophet Ibrahim said, Ya Allah, my descendant also, I want them to be Imams. Uh -uh. Not all of them. As you were tested and you got this Imamat after test, okay, those will be tested as well. And though those who are uh, whom I know in my ilm al ghaib that they are definitely going to pass the test and do sabr, I'm going to choose them imams and send them on earth and they will prove to people by their sabr and by their highest level of intellectual capacity and uh, pondering the signs in my signs that they deserve to be imams. Then Allah says, فَقَاتِلُوا أَيْمَّةَ kufr." Okay, so when Allah, Allah does not in every place says, kill the kuffar, kill the kuffar. He says those imams of kufr, like Yazid, when they wage war, fight them back. They don't have any faith, okay? And then um, uh, the witness of Prophet Musa, Hisqil, and the book, Kitabu Musa, Imam and Warahmah, the book of Musa Alisam was guide also, Imam. But this was with a higher capital, upper capital, because it was the choice of God. Uh, and then Imam, Imam, وَجَعَلْنَهُمْ أَيْمَّةً يَهْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا This is a similar ayat, which of ayat of today, but this is in Surah 21-73. بِأَمْرِنَا What is Amr of Allah? كُنْ فَيَكُنْ None but كُنْ فَيَكُنْ Nothing but كُنْ فَيَكُنْ And then also, قُرَّةِ uh, وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا وَجَعَلْنَا So I can be Imam. But I'm asking Allah, Ya Allah, you make me Imam for the righteous ones. وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Those nice people, they can be Imam Jama'at, they can be Marja, but they keep asking Allah, Ya Allah, you make us. Let us be backed by you. You choose us to be Imam for the good ones, for the nice ones, for the beloved ones. Okay? That is why this Ja'al, the word Ja'al is important. وَنَجْعَلَهُمْ Remember? وَنُرِيدُ أَنَّ مُنَّ عَلَى الَّذِينَ الصُّفْعَ فِي الْأَرْضِ 
the surah of uh, uh, I mean the the the, the twelfth imam's coming. ونجعلهم أئمة we will make them imam. ونجعلهم الوارث وارثين and we will make them the inheritors of the earth. Coming of the twelfth imam, Anjal Allah Taala. So that imam is also the make of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And then the Yazid type of imam. وجعلهم أئمة يدعون إلى النار. Okay. They wanted to deviate people. They wanted to guide people. Sorry about that. We made them only two ayat and we're done. We made them guide the people towards deviation because this world is. Remember, this world is world of test. Allah tests the people, so there has to be someone. There has to be someone. Who deviates? Who is this? Allah has to make a choice, but Allah will not make a choice and make an innocent person. No, Allah will choose the most wicked person. Who chooses the wickedness? He will make them. He will make that person the imam for the to distract. Like Shaitan became imam, Yazid became imam, uh, Fir'aun became imam, Namrud became imam. All these imams of kufr. So Allah made them. Yeah, because they chose. So Allah said, "Okay." Allah says, "Shaitan said, let me deviate people.' Okay, I have made you. I have given you that option. But only wicked people will follow you." Wa jalla minum aimmat yahduna. This is our ayat of today. Wa kullu shay, wa kulla shayin ahsayna fi imam mubin. Everything we have kept it inside the imam. So every type of authority, every type of knowledge, every type of power is with the imam. We have given. We ahsayna hu. So it is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And say repeated ayat. So this is something which we wanted to share with you uh, today. And uh, uh, Subhanallah, uh, only one person is left. Everybody left. I'm like feeling like uh, Muslim ibn Aqil. <laughs> uh, obviously, we our time was one hour. So after one hour, Alhamdulillah, they, they left. But uh, these were some extra things which I wanted to share for the sake of integrity of the uh, of the of the material. Um, and since one person is left, okay, uh, let me just add an integration to the integrity uh, to just add the the word Khalifa, okay. The word Khalifa in the Quran has been mentioned also um, several times. Uh, let me just share you the the page, and we are done for today, inshallah. So, what is this Khalifa of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? The Khalifa of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Is also someone chosen by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Where can I find my? Okay, so as you can see, with Qala Rabbuka lil Malaika. Remember the word Jal. <laughs> When you, when when your Lord told to the angels, "Inni ja'alun fil ardi khalifa," I am making. So khalifat is make of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Yes, people can they make their khalifas like choosing Donald Trump or choosing uh, whoever khalifa. Okay, but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala also chooses, and you choose. But the choice of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the choice of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Uh, is the best choice. So inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa. Then also Allah made us khulafa. Okay. Wa huwa alladhi ja'alakum khala'if al ard. Successors on the earth. You people. So there is one khalifa, specific leadership, and there is another khilafat. We as human, we are the representative of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala on the earth. So we need to behave properly. And then also khalifa comes after. Allah says. Remind them, uh, as you were now khulafa after the people of Noah were destroyed, you became the inheritors of the earth. After the people of Ad were destroyed, after those nations was destroyed, you were the ones who took the earth after them. So you were the khalifa of Allah. That means now you have to behave properly and listen to your imams and the guides. Amma yujibu al-muqtar idha da'ahu wa yakshifu al-su. Isn't he the one who relieves the one who's in distress and responds to his dua and relieves him from the evil and from the difficulty and hardship? 
وَيَجْعَلَكْ وَيَجْعَلُكُمْ And he makes you خُلَفَاءَ الْأَرْضِ So there is a khilafat from Allah. There is a khilafat from shaitan. There is a khilafat. So khalifa can be khalifa of Allah, khalifa of shaitan, and khalifa of people. So this khalifa, if it is chosen by God, then he will take you to the paradise. Then, yeah, and this is the, so the, this ayat of Adam alayhi salam, I'm making you khalifa on the earth, and Dawood alayhi salam. Ya Dawood, inna ja'alnaka khalifatan fil ard. We made you khalifa. Who made? Who made? Who made? We made you khalifa on earth. Fahkum bayna nasib al haq. So, um, uh, uh, rule in the people with justice, okay? Not with injustice. So this was something which I wanted to share uh, with you uh, on this session. And we hope that uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us and keeps us guided to the, 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 the real khalifas of Allah chosen on the earth, the real imams chosen by Allah on the earth. Even if the people left them, did not support them, alhamdulillah, the school of Ahl al-Bayt, the Shias, they're honored to be supporters of the uh, Khalifa chosen by Allah, uh, Imams chosen by Allah. Allah chose Imams and Khulafas, previous nations. What happened? Why the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu nation did not have Khulafas chosen by God and they were all chosen by people and wealth and, and power? No, that is wrong. Allah chose, and as I said, it is a legislative choice, like Salat, fasting but they did not accept the Khilafat of Allah. And may Allah guide them, inshallah, to the Khilafat of Allah, to the real Khalifa of Allah, to the real Imam chosen by Allah. And may Allah guide them to this path, which is uh, an honorable path in the school of Ahl al-Bayt, though we are the minority, because we were also rejected, we were also sub subsided, murdered, killed. Um, this is our Imams also, but Alhamdulillah, we pray to Allah that we stay on this path until the last breath of our lives and we, re we, re 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 we are reunited with our khulafas and our imams on the Day of Judgment. Ameen Rabbil